Hi, I'd like to introduce a project that I think would be really fun to do with the children and uh, parents and a family, and it's uh, creating a collage based on family traditions of food that unites um, the generations. You might look at uh, different boxes and bags that you have in your cabinets and see if they evoke a particular time, place, or person, and use that as the basis for your collage that we're going to create. Um, I've chosen this anchovy uh, box. I cut off the parts I don't need. If while you're working your uh, object starts to get a little frayed or you want to reinforce it, just simple tape works really well. It's fun to look around the kitchen and around the house and find interesting objects to use for embellishing. I found a piece of ribbon from a candy box. I'm sewing it on. You could also glue it or tape it on. I have some beads. I'm going to go ahead and string the bead on the needle. Another non-needle option is a shoelace. It would be ribbon, wire. Uh, often it's a nice idea to start a border so then you can decide where you want to place your items in the center. Um, you could start in the center as well. I just chose to start on the border. I wanted to put some buttons so I'm going to, in this case, just add a little bit of glue and go ahead and put my button on. This one ha has a shank on the back which you could sew. In this case I'm just going to glue it. You could also use a flat button. Also add glue, maybe in a different corner. I think I'll put this one here and go ahead and add that. And I could sew through that later if I wanted to. So the next thing I'm going to look at is the composition. Composition means how does your collage look, the objects in relation to each other, the words, the pictures, the colors. I chose these items from a magazine and also from a photograph. I chose particular words because they have special meaning to me and the photograph as well because this is who the collage is about, the food, the memory, and the connection. All right, in looking at this size, I realize I don't have any room to put it on here, so I'm going to put it at the bottom. And I think that works really well. I'm going to add some glue stick just a bit here. I still want the words to show. And then I'm going to put this right there and make sure it attaches. I'm going to take my picture and decide where I want that. I think I'm going to put it right here. As a matter of fact, it's going to overlap right here. Okay. The words. Cut out a heart. So there are no real directions or right or wrong when you're collaging. It's what appeals to you and also follow your intuition and feel free to move things around. Um, you might want to set it out first before you add the glue or even after you've glued it, you can still peel it, pick it up and move it. I have a gold marker. You may also use a Sharpie. A regular ballpoint pen works well. Why this particular uh, food item was chosen by me is because it is a memory of my parents. When I was a little kid, they were having company and I ran in and just, without asking, shoved some hors d'oeuvres they had in my mouth and spit it out across the room and got in so much trouble because I hated it. It was anchovies. I had never tasted them before. Got in so much trouble. The people that were there were really nice and said, well, of course she doesn't like them. Um, but I had never tasted anything so awful in my life, and I still don't like them. But the reason I like this is because it reminds me of the hospitality that my parents had, and um, I will never forget that. With wonderful parties and wonderful friends. And uh, on the back of this can, I noticed that it came from Morocco, and here it is in Arabic. Okay. Now the reason I chose this is because it has the words Crown Prince on there, and I think my dad 
was a king, but everyone thought he was a prince of a man. So this honors him. Bon appétit. Bon appétit.